we are back. We are on the main page. Say hi, Oliver. Say hi again. So we weren't on the right page. How are you guys? We are going to be painting our fall sign. Oliver is going to be painting. What are you painting? Looks like rainbows. Rainbow and watermelon. Rainbows and watermelons. There you go. There's part of his rainbow. Oops. It's okay. There's part of his rainbow. I 
Look at that. Oliver's painting a rainbow. Isn't that awesome? Uh -huh. Those, different colors. Those colors are really good. All right. So, what I think I'm going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going so, to these are glass bottles and they're made to be see through. So you have these that come out the top that we're gonna paint brown. And we are gonna paint these brown, but these are made to be see through bottles. And so I think we're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna rub all this off because I don't want any of these burn marks to transfer to my paint. But we're just going to use Enchanted Shimmer directly on the wood. And it's going to make the bottle shine a little bit. They said you're doing a good job. He painted with me yesterday inside the private group. And he asked me this morning, see all that coming off? He's like, I want to paint with you again. So that's what we're doing. All right. So we're going to attempt this. Enchanted Shimmer and I'm hoping what I'm wanting to do is make this this uh, clear glass um, have a little bit of a shimmer look and so and that's what we're gonna do with the Enchanted Shimmer and we're gonna paint right over these but then we're gonna use brown paint and paint those actually those are inside the bottle so they should still no we're gonna do we'll see how it looks how about that we may go back over the brown when we do it Holy. with more Enchanted Shimmer. Look around. I love it. I only got one more. That means you're going to have to find more stuff to paint with, right? Yeah, well, I still have stuff to paint. Oh, more okay. My strawberry stuff. Oh, yeah. I forgot you had the strawberries left over from yesterday. Do you want to go get your strawberry? and show them what you painted yesterday? Or just paint? Uh, no? Just okay. paint. Okay. Oh, why? Okay, so we are putting this enchanted shimmer directly on the wood, okay? Uh, and it's gonna give it a uh, little bit of a uh, shimmer effect. Uh, uh, um, Sheila, we did that one actually inside the VIP group. So if you're in there, you'll be able to see it. But if you're not in there, I will get a video loaded to the main page. Um, I recorded it. So I will get a video loaded to the main page probably by this weekend. Grandma. What? Did I use the tail? No. Okay, well, I haven't even used the black either. Nope, navy blue. Oh, I did use no, this is navy blue. You use that one. Okay. Yeah. I need one more. You need one more what? For navy blue and the two. Because I only got one for navy blue or the two. Here's another one. I know, but remember that was for the watermelon. Okay, here. I have plenty of paintbrushes, my friend. <laughs> Turquoise, yellow, and blue, and a purple glass bottle in my head for the Carnival Days of the 70s. Ooh, I love that. <coughs> oh, oh, Sherry, I totally get that. I really do. I will welcome you back anytime, my friend. Anytime. I really like this look on the bottles. That looks really cool. Shiny. It is shiny and shimmery, so it, it looks like, I'm trying to give you a good, there you go. See, it kind of looks like glass. That's going to be very cool, isn't it, Oliver? Yeah. Okay, I think I got everywhere covered. I think it's kind we of should add a little white thing that color. You think so? Yeah. We can always go back and add more. But we're going to still do another coat. We're going to do two coats of this. 
because it's going to make it a little bit brighter. I think that's a good idea. See how it's brighter? It looks more white now. Okay, that's a great idea. So Oliver's mama, my daughter, came over to pick him up today and he's like, I'm not ready to leave. I said, okay, well, grandma's got to work, but you can paint with me again. You can hang out with Parker, all the things. And so that's what he's doing today. Hanging out with us again. Do you like hanging out over here at grandma's? Yeah. Yeah. Did you decide what we were going to cut for you on the laser the next time you're over here? What's your favorite? Oh, uh, was it a Hot Wheel? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to make one that I can drive. I don't know if I'm that good to design that, but we'll try. I mean, we can make little wheels and we can maybe try. I mean, <laughs> that's so cute. Somebody, hey Vanessa, somebody asked how old you are. They weren't on here yesterday. How old is that? Five. You can hold your hand up too there because they see you right there. See? <laughs> All right, so that's super cool. It's gonna kind of give it the look <laughs> of glass without using a color to paint it. So I'm actually super excited about that. Um, let's go ahead and paint oh, these. Let's put these to the side. Rainbow's done. Good job. Now, We're gonna go ahead and paint these dark brown. This looks like trees. Yeah, Robin, I think that that's what I was like. We're gonna do this and see, but I'll probably go back over them. I'll go over the paint, brown paint with a chance of shimmer. Mm -hmm. I did think of that at, right after I did that. Because you want them to look like they're in the bottle. favorite color. You see, I have it on my plate, too. The same one as mine? Yep. I thought you took it from mine and gave it back. Nope. You got your own. Do you even know how bright it is? Like this? Yes. It's my favorite color. I use it all the time. I see it the same as this. Yep. It's called aquamarine. Where's this one? <laughs> That's aquamarine. That's what that one's called. Give me the bottle and I'll show you. Do you see on the front? Yeah, right there. Yep, that says aquamarine. That's the color. He loves painting. Ooh, we should show them. We'll post it on the page later. Remember the unicorn you painted me? By the back door? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to show them that one. Do you want me to go get it? You sure can if you want. If you want to show it to them. Okay. Well. Here. I'll just set that right there, okay? Yeah. Make sure you shut the door, though, so the cats don't get out. And it's hot. He's going to go get an, a unicorn he made. I am sure for all the people coming to my in-person events... You'll probably be able to see Oliver. We'll see if he can come up for some of it. Um, remember, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the in-person event. I had someone reach out to me today asking me a little bit more questions, a little bit more details. Check this out. Isn't that the cutest unicorn Show ever? Show back. Show it the back. Look at his little tail. That is so cute. I love the colors. That's my favorite. You see I wrote your name on it and then the year. So I always remember. I do have some nice help today. You can use that paintbrush now. Okay. So someone asked me, they live about 20, 25 minutes outside of me, outside of, away from me. And they were like, um, you know, kind of what's the chain of events? You know, do I need to stay there? Can I drive home? Um, so on Friday, our event is going to start at 1 o'clock. Now, this is going to be also for the virtual people. So if you're coming virtually, oh, 
12. It will also start at 1 o'clock. It I is a keepsake. Did you see a paint booger? Um, a poop booger. A poop booger. silly. He is definitely boy. Um, we're going to start at 1 o'clock on Friday. And we're going to go into the night, my friends. We're going to be hanging out. And the evening time will just be a time to get to make, make some friends and just really build some friendships with the people that are there. And if anybody knows Nancy, my taffy lady, she's going to be there joining us. She's going to come craft along with us. So I'm super excited to have Nancy there. You'll be able to meet the taffy lady in person. That looks like it's dry, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. Um, so Friday from one, and then we'll have dinner, and and then more fun. So it's gonna go into the night. And then Saturday, we will start in the morning with breakfast, and also, I'm gonna serve you breakfast, lunch. What you waiting for? Are you bored? Yeah. You can paint your watermelon. Okay. So Friday you will get some snacks when you get there at one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do um, not not do lunch on Friday because many of you will probably eat lunch before that. But we'll have heavy snacks there on Friday, and you are welcome to bring any snacks you want. You can bring stuff into the venue. Totally, totally fine. Um, and then Saturday you'll get, or, and then you'll get dinner that night. Saturday you're gonna get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're gonna feed you. Uh oh, you can hop down and pick it up. I think one of your pieces Why? fell. It is mine. What was it? It was my strawberry. Oh, your strawberry? So anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. You have until tomorrow, I believe. Is tomorrow Friday? I can't believe tomorrow is Friday. You have until tomorrow to get the in-person ticket because we are doing all the cutting and all of that. Can't wait. I'm super excited. And then next Friday is the last day to sign up for virtual tickets. Um, virtual tickets, you can pay one price just to have virtual access, to get in on the swag bag stuff, all of that. And then um, there is another price if you wanna join virtually and get the kits. So they'll be mailed to you and you can craft along with us. It will be set up just like this. I think I need to change this. I'm gonna have a hard time getting this clean now. It will be set up just like this for you guys. Someone else asked if they join virtual and can't make it to one of the uh, projects can we they do it um, later and the answer is yes everything will be on replay what you thinking you probably shouldn't wrap that around your neck silly boy Why? you're gonna strangle yourself <laughs> you can't do that what are you painting now uh, nothing the strawberries oh you gotta paint the sides you're gonna paint the back Let's do some of these. I am so bored. You're bored? Uh -huh. Well, you're painting. How can you be bored painting? You silly boy. You can go inside if you want when you're done painting. No, I want to paint. You want to paint? All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and paint this one yellow. Um, we're probably going to add some oranges. Did you guys see the scarecrow we did yesterday? It turned Ooh, out so, you. yeah, the scarecrow I did. I thought you said me. Oh, I did. I did say we, didn't I? No, you painted a house and strawberries yesterday, didn't you? Uh -huh. I stopped the house so painted. You know, I'm thinking these would even look really good. Um, That's all right. Um, the scarecrow was super fun. It turned out so cute. 
Time to give Oliver a board to make a design of his own. Yep. I agree. He likes coming and painting with me, don't you? There's always cool stuff to paint here. They're dry? Yeah. I think we might use a paint pen on some of these as well. That might look really, really cool. Do what? What are you thinking? yellow is kind of a different yellow. What do you want glued together? The heart to that. Well, let's glue this. 
this to this first, and then you can put this on the back so it's like two sided. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. And so it can stand? Yeah, it will be able to stand on its own. Like oh, she said she loves the colors on your rainbow. Aren't they pretty? Hold on, I gotta get scissors to cut this. No, there is. He stayed the night here last night, so. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Well, welcome to the page. Um, he's painting some rainbows that are in our shop and a watermelon. And I am working on another piece of our shop. The edges. Oh, yeah, you can do the edges. You can set this over there. Um, we're working on this piece that's going to be, that is in the shop right now, actually. So let's see what the yellow looks like because I think it's going to be a little bit of a brighter yellow. Ooh, it is. yellow better? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Should we go over the orange or do you like the orange? I like the yellow more. You like the yellow more? I think I do too. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Teresa. I think we do have a pretty amazing group. Woo. I think so too. It is all because of you guys, but I think it's pretty stinking amazing. Okay, so I'm loving the yellow more than the orange. Let's do... Let's just go over the orange a little bit, not quite solid. That way you can still see some orange through it. So you can still see some orange through it. I'm doing so good. You are doing very good. I think we should have a once a month. Would you want to come over once a month and paint with me on, on this? That would be fun, right? Once a month. Oh, once a month? Um, so, how about this? Just whenever you want to come paint with me, you can. How about that? You just tell your mom, I want to go paint with Grandma. Okay? Whenever you want. I really like it with the orange behind it. Do you see the orange behind it? 
Yes, I can show you the big board one more time. So all these pieces are gonna overlay on it and then actually kind of, it, the frame is cut out, but we just kind of whitewash this one and then aqua wash this one for lack of a better word. Um, but I think this is gonna turn really cool. I do, you would love to see Oliver once a month. I would too. I think it would be awesome. I use a lot of aqua when I'm decorating for fall. I know it's not traditional. Although the past few years, you've seen it pop up more and more. Um, but you can definitely, like this would be really pretty with a burgundy frame. That would be pretty if you brought some burgundy in. Let's do the little one with some orange in it too because I actually really like the orange. Can you do me a favor? What? Um, go inside and get the scarecrow off the table that we painted yesterday and we'll show it to him. painting night. How about that? That would be fun. I think that might be something that we have to plan. So this one's going to have more yellow, or I'm sorry, orange, since it's on top, and I think that's a really good idea, actually. But I'm just kind of scribbling so you can see the yellow underneath. Are y'all 
all done, Oliver? loves you rubbing her belly. <laughs> Is she wanting you to do it again? Well, she doesn't like to be picked up. Like, I can pick her up, but she would still be a little nervous if you did. Our little chihuahua. You know how they are with little, little kids. So that's a good color. I like it. Ooh, just painted paint your I cannot wait to see pictures of it. Sheila? You will have to send them. Okay, so these are gonna go right in the center. Those are super cute. you guys see that's pretty cool pretty good shading 
No, these are cotton. Yeah, these are cotton. So we're gonna paint them um, probably this uh, warm buff color with a little bit of white mixed in. Because obviously you want it more white, but I want it to stand out from the background as well. So, um, Sheila, you can post them inside the Ruffle Daisy Creative Lifestyle. That's the that's the group name. yellow if you have any issues Sheila you can send me a message and I can direct you to the right group but if you just uh, in the search bar here on Facebook just put the ruffle Daisy creative lifestyle and if you're not a member of it then definitely join it's an it's an open page it's a public group that you guys can share all your completed pieces and I do share them on the main page sometimes so I'm just putting a little bit of teal aqua in here now a bit more like pumpkin all right I think I like that I'm gonna see if I have a brown paint pen that's gonna be probably easier than painting area to paint. I need a big one for sure. And it's okay if it's not the same brown as that. You like it when teal and aqua is added to pumpkins? I do too. You know my love for that stuff, my friend. And I can dry brush some of this darker brown on here too as well that would kind of bring some more of that brown color into it did post the breast cancer one there so you are a member of it I think I'm going to start putting it in all the emails that I send so you guys have easy access to it you can um, hop on and just go to an email and it'll always be there so our fan is going but I think we're going to add brown is dried up but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to this I'm gonna use a really small paintbrush up and it hit my husband's car and 
Yeah, no fun. Put big gouges in his car. Crazy, crazy. Hopefully you don't lose power, Sheila. Okay, that looks really good. I don't know if you can see the stem, but now you can see light and dark brown in it. All right, let's go ahead and post our, or I'm sorry, I was reading your comment about posting. Let's paint our cotton. And let's figure out which ones go where. Okay, so this one goes there, that's face up. today that it shipped, then they are on their way out, my friends. Let's paint this big one. I think this is really going to come together really pretty, especially just with the the way we did the frame and the background and our glass bottles, that's gonna look really cute, I think. So we did the scarecrow in our live group yes or in our VIP group yesterday. That was fun. They definitely got real life. My mom showed up here when I was doing it. Um, yeah, it was it was real life. So make sure you guys remember, come to the virtual event. Even if you can't make it to the in-person, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't want you to say, oh my gosh, I wish I would have done that. Um, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for in-person. Next Friday is the last day to sign up for virtual, okay? I don't want you guys to regret not getting a ticket because you're going to love it. I'm promising. 
if you love this page, then you guys are going to love the event. I promise. I'm going to do two coats on these. I think they just kind of need it. Let's see. What color should we do our leaves? Give me some ideas for the leaves. Should we bring a little burgundy in? Oops. What color should we do the leaves? thinking about doing the paint parry for the scarecrow it will be your first paint party if you do i think that would be fun i'm actually going to put an ebook together for you guys that um will kind of help you walk through the steps of having a paint party do you have to join the membership to see my cutouts no connie so i do tons of tutorials on my cutouts here on this page yes six o'clock tonight instead of seven do tons of tutorials here on the page. Um, more in-depth tutorials we do inside the private group, which there is a fee for that one. Um, but you will always be able to see a finished picture. Um, and so if you get this kit, then you'll kind of see how I painted it. Um, but learning different techniques and things like that. I teach a ton of techniques here on this page just to to you guys the general public uh, but more a little bit more in-depth tutorials and stuff are in my private group yes but no i would love to have you in the private group but you do not have to join that um if you just found me uh kind of peek around a little bit we have a subscription box that goes out every month that is actually a stunning piece that we are actually going to be crafting tonight this one we could be good for a paint party too yes lots of pieces on this one um let's do let's get a little bit of green brush to bring in different colors. My fan is blowing it away. Let's do the yellow on this one. See how I had the green, or I'm sorry, the yellow in. And it kind of blended the orange. See some orange on the edges there? Let's do some red. Some of my favorite, uh, a maple tree is my favorite. It has bright red and um, leaves and so pretty. There we go. So we put a little bit of yellow on that one. Let's put a tiny bit more orange on this one. bring in a little bit more yellow too. That one looks really good. It's got all different colors in it. I think those are super cute. layering. Some yellow. Love that. Super, super cute. Red maple is my favorite. Yes. This is my absolute favorite. Love it. 
I got way too much or, or yellow on that one. We're going to blend a little bit more. I think those are good. So we got one that's a little bit more orange, a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow. Let's start gluing this together. Oh, we got to paint these. Hold on. So we did our enchanted shimmer on these, so they kind of look like a, um, did you get my message about the person bothering you? I have not. We're going to actually paint these this color that so they shine through the bottle and we will probably will um, put some enchanted shimmer over it so it looks like they're in the bottle. That's how they're supposed to be. This would be another easy thing that, uh, an easy spot for you to use a paint pen. I just have a really tiny brush here. not going to get the effect of the enchanted shimmer on the camera as much as you would if you were to see it in person. But it does definitely make the bottle shine like it's glass. I was trying to think, what can I use to make it look like glass? And the Enchanted Shimmer was absolutely what I needed. And it's the white one. Have 
have you, you definitely like it, have any of you gotten this kit? I was cutting a bunch before I got on the video, and actually it's done, I can change it now. But if you haven't gotten this kit, this is a good one. It's a pretty large piece too. I can measure it for you guys and share with you. I think it's going to look really good on my mantle. That's where I'm envisioning it anyway. Okay. I love those. I love those. We need them to dry though so we can put enchanted shimmer on them. the shimmer there look at that shimmer now you can totally see it there I love it I think let's go ahead and put it all together and then we can go we can go back over um, if we want and put in the enchanted shimmer on our pieces we're done. All right. We're going to go ahead. I don't have enough room here in the camera view for you guys. whitewash on the background with white. Whoa, whoa. Let's make sure we have it. I want to make sure it's set square because of how our pieces kind of lay into the frame. You have this branch and then you have cotton. You want an aluminum ruffle daisy tumbler? I had a friend make me this one. We should bring him to the shop, shouldn't we? Okay. Let's go ahead and put this one down. So it's gonna go right there. Look how this is going to look, you guys. Let's use this one, this one's almost gone. If I can get any more out of it, I'm sure I can. white like the coffee mug oh I like that idea yes Pamela they will go out probably by tomorrow thank you for joining us Connie definitely come back and watch the replay because you're gonna love this one when it comes together fully
super, super cute. I love that. You like the brown against the aqua? It looks really good. Very clean looking. Okay, let's figure out where, okay, we'll put all that on in a minute. Let's do these. We're gonna put this one here. The lines make it so much more amazing. And don't worry, like it, you saw me whitewash this, but even if you painted it, you would definitely be able to still see the lines. I think we're almost out of the stick fest. I think we can call it quits on that one. Just line it up with the lines. So pretty. Love the Enchanted Shimmer. Yes. That's definitely, that's achieving what I wanted. My finger keeps sticking to the edge. There's glue seeping out. Definitely the look I was going for. Right there, okay? Go pee for me. Go potty for me. <laughs> I just did. 
You did? Yeah. Okay. You like the aqua on it? You are so welcome, Kimberly. I love doing this for you guys. I absolutely do. Yeah, those stand out pretty good, but we're, we might do something else on them. We're going to add some techniques to it. signature technique on the edge. Let's get a little bit of brown. We're going to use our tool. Don't do that to her, baby. Grandma will be done in just a minute, okay? I'm 
loving it, you guys. I think it looks awesome. Let's do a little bit. You know I love brightening stuff up, so. Paper. I'll get you some paper here in a minute, honey. Where? Oh, that's my, that's my book. You can't do it in that. I'm just doing one side, okay? So, hey, you got to, oh, I thought you had the door open. So, just think about that when you're doing, sometimes you don't need it on both sides. So, see, I just did it on the right side of the you like the signature the best? I think it's probably my favorite too. Maybe do some on this one. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Down. Yeah. Why is it here, Ethan? There's no trash bags. Grandma Judy brought it to me. She moved and she didn't need it and so she's like do you need a trash can for the workshop so she gave it to me why don't you go in with park it and i'll be done in just a minute okay i thought you said i can't open the door you can open it as long as you stay in there I just don't want you going in and out. You can stay out here if you want. Okay, I'm almost done, baby. Super cute. Love the technique that it's, look at that. You like it? Sherry said it's 
so nice of you to share your grandma today. <laughs> Look, he's showing you guys what he made. Love it. Super cute, isn't it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> on the outside of his watermelon. Do you want me to use a green and make a squiggles on the outside? Do you want to do that? You know how watermelon has a green rind? Do you want to try it? Do you want a green paint pen? Yeah. Okay. Can I do it? Yeah, you can absolutely do it. Do you, did you see how I did it? I just kind of squiggly and then I did some dots. Do you want to try that? I just want to do it the regular. You do it however you want. I want it. the, I want a white and a dark. You want what? White, green, pen, and a dark. Like this light? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't know that I've used this one. Let me make sure. Oh, I have. Let's take it off this. How about that? Ah, what? Yep, let me see if this one needs it a little bit. Oh. You don't have to push very hard, okay? <laughs> there you go. Those are ready. Are you going to get me my... A cinnamon streusel cake? Yeah. Yes, I will go get you a cinnamon streusel cake. <laughs> this turned out really good, you guys. Um over and grab one from the shop that's super super cute love the way it turned out good job you don't have your apron on remember those are new clothes yeah all right here put it on i'll go get your cinnamon streusel cake while you finish painting okay there you go ladies 
thanks for hanging out with me and Oliver today. I hope you love this. Um, I hope you loved his stuff. Maybe we will start bringing him on more often and you guys can hang out and uh, paint with your grandkids. All right. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye. You want to tell him bye? He says no. <laughs> bye.